Let us all stand and sing our opening hymn, Take Up Your Cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. As we prepare to hear from the word of the Lord, from the word and receive from the altar, let's take a few moments to call to mind our sins, ask for his uh, love, and remind ourselves how much we need the Lord each and every day. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love that conformed to his image, we may merit a share in the eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and and ever. Amen. Amen.
a reading from the book of the prophet Nahum. See upon the mountains there advances the bearer of good news, announcing peace. Celebrate your feast, O Judah, fulfill your vows. For nevermore shall you be invaded by the scoundrel. He is completely destroyed. The Lord will restore the vine of Jacob, the pride of Israel, though ravagers have ravaged them and ruined their tendrils. Woe to the bloody city, all lies, full of plunder, whose looting never stops. The cracks of the whip, the rumbling sounds of wheels, horses a gallop, chariots bounding, cavalry charging, the flame of the sword, the flash of the spear, the many slain, the heaping corpses, the endless bodies to stumble upon. I will cast filth upon you, disgrace you, and put you to shame, till everyone who sees you runs from you, saying, Nineveh is destroyed, who can pity her? Where can one find any to console her? The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thank you, God.
The Lord be with you. And with your a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels in his Father's glory, and then he will repay each according to his conduct. Amen. I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You might be wondering why today the, the deacon and I are wearing white. It's we're doing a votive, uh, an optional mass for the Sacred Heart of um, Jesus. And that feast in the gospel that we just heard reminds us of a central point about. Uh, about Christianity and about being a a Christian is that hopefully we don't see following Jesus or living the Christian life as a as a guilt guilt trip. Uh, we don't see it as you know a, as a a con a condom, a condemnatory or a, a condemnation kind of life. Rather, being a Christian is the response to a gift that we have re, re, received. A gift by its very nature that also calls for everything that we are and everything that we have but the gift is worth it. It's not just a, you know, a gift of some money or some you know, worldly thing that will pass away and fade out of existence in time. The, the gift is a person that once we encounter, once our heart encounters that person of Jesus and it knows who it is and who's, whose it is. And in that response, in that joyful response, abandons everything in order to pursue that gift. That's, the, that's hopefully what we see as living the Christian life as. So if we see that besides anything else, and we're not going to be joyful witnesses that will attract, attract others and will really showcase the gift that Jesus is to the world. So on this vote of mass of the sacred heart, let's just uh, thank the Lord for what the Lord has done, for what Jesus has, has done, and recommit ourselves to following him and to being those joyful witnesses and spread the good news of what a good gift that, that Jesus is.
we now pray for our needs, our needs, needs of the whole world. That the church may be a sign of unwavering faith in the mercy of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be inspired to open our doors so that those least likely can experience the good news of Jesus Christ in our midst. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all immigrants and all who we see as others in our communities, may the Holy Spirit unite us and reveal to us the love of God for each human person made in God's image. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who help us when our spirits are low and when we need their comfort, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations to the priesthood and religious life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and all who care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we offer you all all of these prayers. We entrust them to, to your will through Christ our Lord. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty F Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, Father of mercies, who, because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness gave us your only begotten Son, grant we pray that being perfectly united with him we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord Amen. Amen. the Lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the Lord let us give thanks to the Lord our God it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, we all, all might draw water joy fully from the springs of, of, of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his <clears throat> disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave in thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. <clears throat> Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and robert our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. through him and with him and in him. O oh God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dared to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distrust. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all ways. And with your spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the, of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Main partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co heirs to his of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. May, all, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.